Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy JNR, KK Crystal World, and welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to see if or how well the Packers would be if they actually traded for a wide receiver or signed one. <laughs> Let's get into it. So right now we're starting off in the preseason. Today's the day that uh, that this video is being recorded. That uh, roster cuts happen, and uh, right now we currently have a spot in the in our um, in our receiver core because right now, as we speak, the receiver core is Devontae Adams, uh, Alan Lazard, uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling, Equinemius. And then Malik Taylor, we actually cut Jay Kumaro, we cut Malik Turner, we cut Travis Fulham, Darius Shepard, and Reggie Begleton. So, I'm not sure where they those guys are heading, but right now I'm thinking that um, we, um, you know, just sim to the regular season. I, I actually want to make the cuts. I want to make the cuts that the team made. So, if when it asks me to cut players, I want to do it. It doesn't say anything, so I'll just upgrade the players first. Because I, I think I remember all the cuts in my head. But obviously, I don't remember the preseason. The, what's it called? The, um, the practice squad players. So, once we get to that section, then we should be good to go. But still nothing yet. So, we just upgraded the players really quick. And then we're hopping into last week, I think. We got to cut 18 players. We have to cut 18 players. So, I can't cut Hunter Bradley. He's our our guy. John LeGlue got cut. Tim Boyle is definitely not getting cut. Evan Bayless, I don't even know. KB on Nento didn't get cut. He gets moved to the practice squad. He gets released. He got released. I know that. Um, I don't even know who that is. I'm just going to put him in the practice squad, though. Stanford Samuels somehow didn't make the squad, so that's happening with that. Curtis Bolton is definitely getting put in the practice squad. Tanya's not getting cut. John Runyon's definitely not getting cut. Dexter Williams got cut, I believe. We didn't cut Tyler Irvin. Darius Shepard got cut, though. And then Reggie Begleton got cut. Equinemius made the squad. Malik Turner definitely got cut. Um, and Jay Kumaro. Uh, so we kept these guys. I think we did cut... If we cut him, we're going to get Sun. So we moved Dexter there. Tipa did not get cut. Vernon Scott didn't. John Runyon didn't get cut. Evan Bayless didn't. We can move John LeGlue to the practice squad. We still have s things to do with six players here. KB on into the practice squad, probably. Vernon Scott, maybe. Tipa, I'm going to put him to practice squad, too. And we still have four, like... Oh man, recommended. All right, QB. Let's see what QBs we have. Nope. Running back. This is what the squad's looking like. Yep. Fullback. We don't have a fullback. <laughs> Wide receiver. Travis Fulham got cut for sure. Um, Devin Funches opted out. So tight end. Okay, so I think Evan Bayless got cut or something like that. Because I got Hunter Bradley's our long snapper, so we can't. Get rid of him. So Yasha Nyman's still there. Left guard. This is fine. Center. Jake Hansen made the team, I believe. Right guard is fine. Right tackle. Alex Light definitely got cut. His trash behind. Um, left end. Leave it alone. Why don't you leave it alone? D tackle. Leave it alone. Left outside linebacker. Oh, we just need to cut one person. So after we cut one person, we should be straight. Um, Tim Williams got cut. That's the last person. I know he got cut. So we took care of that. <laughs> cut the players. Sorry about that. Um, now we could upgrade them. And uh, keep a pushing with that. So we're not going to touch anything else on the team. We're just going to sim to the regular season. Oh, we could have made a trade, though. I'm an idiot. We could have made a trade, but that's fine. We're going to upgrade the players that, that's left on the squad. Sign a receiver and then maybe put like EQ or someone like that on the practice squad because right now the Packers are in a win now situation 
and trading for someone right now is probably the most ideal thing to do and as you can see we have five receivers and we have mad tight ends but that's fine <laughs> that's perfectly fine uh, let's see so the person I was thinking about trading away was actually Josh Jackson I was thinking about trading him away but I'm not too sure how that would go I want to see what free agent receivers that are left maybe give away Josh Jackson and like a first for a receiver I think that would work pretty well but let's just see what receivers are open I didn't look at any in the preseason preseason like an idiot so we have Chester Rogers who the Packers actually went in and uh not signed but they he actually went in for a uh what is it an interview not an interview they, they went in to work him out so we can honestly sign Chester Rogers I mean he's I mean it's a potential signing but you know let's just leave that for real life and we'll just gonna figure out how like who we could trade for in Madden in Madden simulation and see if it's like a realistic trade that we can do so we're gonna put Josh Jackson as our guy we're gonna put away green it's green for that Let's see what wide receivers these teams have. Anthony Miller, nice little speed option. Exactly what the Packers need. A nice little slot. If we trade for AJ Green, we'll, we'll definitely get him. We would definitely be able to get him, but he's an injury problem. So, honestly, a player I was thinking of getting here would probably be John Brown. But before I try that, I want to see what other receivers are available that we could try for. Um, Taylor Gabriel signed with the, the Chargers because he's a free agent in our thing. So... As I'm looking through here, I mean, there isn't anything that's really catching my eye besides Marquise Goodwin, obviously. But we want to go with someone that's actually, like, solid. So maybe Sterling Shepard. Like, Sterling Shepard, maybe? Give them Josh Jackson for Sterling Shepard straight up. Not interested. <laughs> Definitely not interested. Jaguars have D.D. Westbrook and and uh, DJ Chark. Honestly, if we try to trade for D.D. Westbrook, it could go through. Nah, nothing at all. We got to see what teams are actively actively actually interested so saints need a receiver they only have two so if we trade for emmanuel sanders he's a very solid option very reliable oh you see if we actually trade for emmanuel sanders this could work let's throw in let's throw in a seventh round pick and maybe see how how well oh no we have to throw in a six to get emmanuel sanders so they would take josh jackson in a six round oh my gosh so we need a higher six round pick do we even have one? No, we only have a fifth rounder. So we'll give him a fifth rounder and Josh Jackson for Emmanuel Sanders. So we just upped the receiver core by getting e uh, Emmanuel Sanders. And so now our offense literally shot to an 87. But our defense is now at a 79, which is kind of weird. But I think it was a 79 before. So now we have now we have a solid receiver core. Devin Funches is still there. But honestly, I think I might just release Devin Funches just for the heck of it because he's not there in real life. So I could kind of try to make this like as real as possible. Or maybe I could just move him in the depth chart. Yeah, because uh, another team could probably use him and actually do well with him. So we're going to like fix him on the depth chart really quick. And then we'll uh, get to showing you guys the sim. Okay, so as you can see, we took an L to the Vikings. I don't know what our record is. We're 3-4 and four right now. Wow, things must be really tough. Uh... <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that, uh, so Rashawn, Rashawn Gary's eating apparently, uh, and we, to, to get him to reach his goals, he has to, we have to hold him to a certain thing, so that's, I don't know, kind of a, kind of an issue, but for right now, we're going to see statistically how well Emmanuel Sanders is doing for us, as we're third in our division, the Vikings are one and six, and they got their first win against us, bro, come on. Aaron Rodgers has 17 TDs, 4 picks. Not too bad. Aaron Jones is doing alright. Receiving core, Emmanuel Sanders is our leading receiver. 49 receptions, 473 yards. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And Christian Kirksey is obviously eating. Kenny Clark with 4 sacks. And then we only have 3 picks on defense, so that's pretty interesting. I mean, Emmanuel Sanders could reach 1,000 yards by the end of the season, so that's really good. So we're going to sim to the end of the season and see if we make the playoffs. So it looks like we didn't make the playoffs as we took an L thirty one to nineteen with the with the against the Bears, I believe. And we finished five and eleven. Wow. 
Wow. We have an 88 offense, but we finished 5 and 11. We had five wins, but Aaron Rodgers threw 38 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 105 passer rating. Aaron Jones had 1,000 yards with 11 TDs. We didn't even have a single person who had over 1,000 yards. Wow. I mean, everyone had mad receptions, but, I mean, Lazard had 700. Emmanuel Sanders had 853 yards. He had 89 receptions. Devontae almost had 1,000 yards. But... I feel like it was our defense that got gassed. I mean, Christian Kirksey had six picks. Kenny Clark had seven sacks. Okay, so two sacks with Z Zadari Smith and five with Preston Smith obviously showed you how well this man in simulation is. And Christian Kirksey had six picks while everyone else had one. Like, yeah. But Christian, uh, offensively, though, we were third in the NFL with yards. So that's obviously what the Packers need, offense. And we're getting Emmanuel Sanders. That's another 853 yards right there with six TDs, which is really, really good. And um, that's pretty solid to me. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what other wide receivers you think the Packers should go for. And maybe uh, hopefully it happens. Or maybe we could just see how it runs out in a simulation. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. And remember, you got to be a fiend to succeed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.